Public Works Director Mike Keller sits in for a recording of our new podcast, Fort Meade Declassified. More on the podcast in a moment. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, expanded post-shopping privileges in effect. The Tax Assistance Center is set to open and some news on the job search front. These stories and more, but first, many Meade commuters returning to work from the holidays this week were met at the gates with increased security measures. Currently, 100% ID checks are in effect at the access control points for all adults in a vehicle. All regular policies remain in effect, so you'll need a military ID or Fort Meade access badge to drive onto the installation. Those without a military ID or access badge must remain with the ID card holder for the duration of the visit and present valid state identification at the gate. If an occupant isn't staying with the ID card holder while on post, they must go to the visitor center to get a pass. To keep track of the latest changes, we recommend downloading the Fort Meade app. Meanwhile, in a related story on January 1st, military exchanges, commissaries, and MWR facilities opened their doors to more than 4 million additional veterans. The newly eligible customers include all veterans with a service-connected disability, Purple Heart recipients, former prisoners of war, and primary caregivers of these veterans. An important note here, the expansion of MWR access includes golf courses, bowling centers, restaurants, and outdoor recreation, but does not include the use of gyms, libraries, or child care facilities. For more information, you can go to the Fort Meade MWR website at meade.armymwr.com and click on MWR Patron Expansion. Now here's the Defense Commissary Agency with a welcome video for the newly eligible vets. Hello. I'm Robert Bianchi, DOD Special Assistant for Commissary Operations, and I would like to welcome the more than 3 million disabled veterans, Purple Heart recipients, former prisoners of war, and their certified caregivers who will be eligible to shop their local commissary starting January 1st, 2020. Whether you're a first-time shopper or you shop the commissary during your time on active duty, you will find great savings on groceries and superior customer service. We look forward to seeing you in the new year, and we're sure you will find it worth the trip. And while you're on base, please take advantage of all the other savings available at base exchanges and MWR outlets. For more information, visit the website at the bottom of the screen. In other news, if you're watching this show or you pick up a copy of the Sound Off regularly, it probably means you're interested in what's happening here on Fort Meade. In an effort to expand on that and have the ability to go into topics at greater length, the Public Affairs presents Fort Meade Declassified. Fort Meade Declassified is a podcast about life in the military, around specifically around Fort Meade, um, life in the community here, like you know things you might want to know about what we do here on the installation, the people who work here. The first podcast is available now, featuring the premiere show with Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Eric Sprague. So far, we've been able to speak to the garrison commander for the podcast. Uh, we're looking to get members of the community. Uh, we're looking for feedback from the community. Uh, we want to speak to whomever would like to speak to us. Basically, we want to tell your story in a way that the community wants to hear. As I mentioned before, the first show is available now on the DOD website DIVIDS, the Defense Visual Information Distribution Service, but Nieves is working on making it available on other platforms. In fact, by the time you watch this show, For Me Declassified may be available on iTunes. We'll keep you posted. Meanwhile, the Joint Installation Tax Center is set to open Monday, January 27th. It will remain open through April 15th for tax assistance and electronic filing. The center offers free tax return preparation services for active duty service members, retirees, dependents, and reservists on active duty orders. You can make an appointment starting January 23rd. Call 301-677-9366. Finally, this week we have a couple of notes on the job search front. First, the Army Strategic Intelligence Recruiting Team is hosting informational briefings Monday, January 27th from noon to 1 and from 3 to 4 p.m. in Building 4550's Pershing Conference Room. A note, you must bring proof of a secret security clearance or higher. And on Thursday, January 30th, the Fort Meade Soldier for Life Transition Assistance Program is hosting another Employer Day hiring event. It's from 11 to 1 at the McGill Training Center. Here's a preliminary list of participating employers. The Transition Assistance Office recommends visiting the employer websites to learn more about available opportunities. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.